Hi, everyone. I want to share a really special, um, amazing, beautiful book that I recently received. Um, I received it as a gift, and it was from the kindness of a woman named Cass, who um, shared with me when she sent me this book that she had been following my work since my days with Frankie. And as many of you know, that was my disabled dog who got around in a wheelchair. And she has stuck with me through all my evolutions so far to date in life and my journey. Um, and it's such an honor to know that um, she's been following me all this time. But she said that spirit called her to send me this book. And the book is The Way of Grace. The Transforming, I'm sorry, The Transforming Power of Ego Relaxation. As you can tell by all my <laughs> tabbed pages, and I'm not quite complete yet, I have a, about three chapters to read yet, but this book really resonates with my heart. Um, it's been such a comfort, and it is truly a beautiful book. So when I received the book, I just love the purple on the cover too, isn't that beautiful? It's just so soothing and just, just beautiful. So... When I got the book, I was holding it in my hands and just mesmerized by it. And I decided to just at random, you know, pull open the book and see what, you know, what I came to. And what stood out to me and what I wanted to share with you today also is the quote in here that says, Compassion is a manifestation of grace. And grace always comes forward when you surrender, relax, and just be here with nothing to fix or get or do. Feel your feet on the earth and your body held by the chair as you meet any concerns or overwhelm. So not only was I touched that she felt called to send me this book, but I had this really great appreciation and recognition of the timing of receiving it. Because just that morning um, during my my daily ritual of meditation, and then pulling oracle cards and journaling with them. I had um, was able to gain some insight and release some frustration that I was feeling around a challenge um, I've been experiencing. And I was being, you know, fell right back into my old patterns and I was being really hard on myself. And I was, you know, beating myself up internally of how I could do things better, how I should have known better and blah, 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 on and on I was going. And when I read that quote about compassion after having journaled with my cards that morning and compassion being a manifestation of grace, and especially that there's nothing to fix or to get or to do, I realized that you know, that was my ego. That was my ego trying to run the show, thinking, you know, there should have been something I could have done better. How could I fix it and make it better? And, um, but that was during my time of going inward that morning that I was able to let go of those criticisms. And, you know, and the Oracle cards were reflecting for that, reflecting that for me. And I just surrendered. I just, <laughs> I surrendered to the creator, I just surrendered to spirit. And I just said, you know, whatever I need to know and understand, you know, please help me with that. And I also, um, you know, continue to work hard to let go of judgment um, of myself. And I know many of us do that, you know, a lot. You know, we're very critical of ourselves. So I want to read another page, um, another quote that stood out for me um, from this book, The Way of Grace. And it says, uh, most people find their way to spiritual practice motivated to resolve some struggle in their lives. There is nothing wrong with this because ultimately grace does resolve the root of our struggle. It, do it does so by inviting the source of the struggle, in parentheses, your ego, because that's why we struggle, because we think we know the answer and we think we know what's right for our lives, right? So, Again, it does so by inviting the source of the struggle, your ego, to retire as director of your life. And when I read that sentence, to retire as director of your life, I laughed, but I also felt this big sigh of relief. And I thought, yeah, that's exactly it. I'm so tired sometimes of trying to be the director of my own life. You know, I can't do this alone. 
And then the other paragraph that really stood out to me was the more you learn to softly surrender your demands and subtle uh, manipulation, the more the dense forces of your ego, which your ego is the fear, control, and judgment, begin to melt. Yet having some awakening experience does not mean that you are done with your practice. That's one thing I have to keep reminding of myself also. This is a daily practice to stay in touch, you know, with that higher power, spirit, whatever you want to call it, um, and let our ego um, maybe go to the coffee shop or have a rest, right? So rather your motivation for coming to prayer, meditation, and inquiry evolves. You explore your inner terrain, not to get over some suffering, but because you start to feel a natural love and devotion to whatever helps you marinate in the living waters. I really love that sentence. Whatever helps you to marinate in the living waters. And I know for myself, I love to you explore your inner terrain, not to get over some suffering, but because you start to feel a natural love and devotion. And that's how I feel about my practice of meditation and working with my oracle cards and journaling, because it always, it always brings me back to a more peaceful place within me. So that really stood out to me. Um, and it's so interesting also because I have been contemplating what my word or my words for 2019 are going to be. And I was, you know, I didn't want to force it. I just wanted to allow it to come to me and trust that it would. And um, it was a few days later after I had been, you know, contemplating my words, but again, not trying to push anything, you know, that spirit nudge me awake at two in the morning. That's usually when spirit likes to talk to me. <laughs> and um, the words that I heard were grace becoming. And I just knew, I knew that was it. Grace becoming. I just love that. And I thought of definitely because that's what I want to do. I want to have, I want to continue to practice to have more compassion for myself. And when I do that, I'm able to invite more grace into my life. And what grace means to me, in part from reading the book and just sitting with grace becoming, is really to continue to have compassion for myself, even when I feel frustrated or challenged. But it's when I continue to do my inner work and that inner work, I just continue to appreciate so much how vital that is to our everyday lives. But when I continue to do that inner work and I continue to, you know, remember to forgive myself when I make mistakes and I just surrender and I relax into the experience that I'm going through, you know, even when it's challenging, that peace really does, you know, it's a reminder and it's another example that peace does find its way back to me, you know, and that's when grace flows with more ease in my life again. So every day we get another chance to be grace becoming and to be the way of grace. And I've often said in my, you know, writings and things that I share with you that, you know, we're all a work in progress. And to me, being a work in progress is the way of grace. Um, and seeing ourselves, maybe you want to see yourself also as grace becoming. So I just think this is such a beautiful way. I love the word grace. And I love how just thinking about the word and saying the word, I just feel my heart, my heart space open. And, you know, when your heart is open, you're able to experience life in a much fuller and meaningful way. So I wanted to also turn to the wisdom of the Oracle for you today and um, ask the cards from the wisdom of the Oracle. Here's the wisdom of the Oracle. When we allow grace to lead the way, what is the potential outcome for our lives? And I did pull a card ahead of time. And the card that I got is higher power. Number four. Let me see if I can put that up so you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, you know what I'm just noticing now? Look at the cover of this book, the purples in there. And the purples in higher power. Oh, I love that. I'm getting goosebumps now. That's perfect. So the essential meanings of this card are conscious contact with the higher power, the presence of the divine, however you define what divine, the divine is for you, seeing source energy in all things and committing to a partnership 
with spirit. I think so many times I know for myself, I forget that I get lost and I forget that there's this amazing, beautiful force of energy that it has our best interest in mind and is guiding us if we just remember that it's there and to tap into it. Um, but what happens, you know, is our ego tries to run the show. So that higher spirit, again, whether you name it God, universe, spirit, creator, if we can stay connected to that, I believe that's what this card is telling us. Um, that's when grace um, can indeed flow with more ease into all of our lives. And we'd have to remember that we're not alone, especially when we're feeling challenged. But it is the grace of spirit that when we stay connected to that and we get out of our own way, I am so guilty of that. Um, and that's why I'm sharing this with you, because I know I'm not alone in this. And just to remember, you know, that we are being guided. And again, that what that looks like for me is to, st is to stay connected with my soul. It's taking time in daily meditation and connecting with that force that is bigger than me, um, but that has my highest good in mind, just like it does for you too, absolutely. And that's when grace becoming can be a more natural way of being, and we can live our lives with much more peace. So again, this book, The Way of Grace, um, as you can tell by all my tab pages, um, and I have many, many different um, places highlighted in here, in fact, I had so much highlighted, I, I thought I'm going to run out of tabs, so I couldn't tab everything that I was highlighting. That's how much I appreciate this book. Um, but it's one I'm going to turn to often when I need reminders. And, you know, just like working with Oracle cards, I love doing this with books where you just open at random. It's kind of hard now with all my tabs in there, but you just open at random and see what message might be there for you for a particular day. So I just want to um, share one last quote on the back of the book. I thought this was so beautiful as well. Grace is way more than a beautiful state that fills our hearts with gratitude. Grace is the unchanging ground of our being. The blessings that heal and nourish us, the living presence that lifts our veils, and ultimately grace is a radiant, spiritually elegant way to walk in this world from a consciousness beyond it. Wow, let that sink in, right? Let that sink in for a while. So, I realize I didn't mention the author is Miranda McPherson. So the way of grace, Miranda McPherson. And I just want to take this moment to say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. However, however you celebrate this beautiful season this month, I, I um, am just so grateful for all of you that you continue to follow my work. And I look forward to sharing with you in 2019 as I incorporate my words of grace becoming and um, I look forward so much to staying connected with you have a great holiday season bye-bye